channel so this is going to be a vlog style video I decided to completely overhaul my makeup room and completely just organize everything make it cuter and so if you guys would like to see that then please go ahead and keep on watching this video I will be showing you what I have what I got rid of what I used to organize um, I'll let you know where I got a lot of these like organizing acrylic organizers in the back so it's gonna be a fun little video kind of like a follow me around this took way longer than I expected so you're gonna go through the whole process with me and then I'll kind of give you guys like a breakdown of my beauty room. So if you guys would like to see that, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. Hey guys, good morning. It is Sunday. Um, as you can see from the debauchery behind me, I just finished my um, one makeup client I had today. Since I have a day off and this never happens, I'm going to totally take advantage and reorganize this whole mess of a vanity. I've got way too much stuff on top and it's not cute for the background for my videos anymore. So that is what I'm gonna do today. So I figured I would vlog the little process so you guys could get a peek into my makeup room a little bit more in depth and also watch me on a wild scavenger hunt because I really wanna find some acrylic um, drawers for the top, the really tall towers. I know you can order them, but I'm pretty spur of the moment and decided I was doing this today, so I want to find something like that today. So I posted something on Facebook in a makeup group. A lot of people said to try like Home Goods or uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I am in Michigan. A lot of people said Ross. I don't know what that is. I don't have Ross here. So um, I'm going to bring you guys along with me today and you'll get to see a little bit of the fun. We're going shopping and I'm trying to avoid the urge to go to Starbucks right now because I feel like every time I'm in the car, I just want to go to Starbucks and buy coffee and that shit adds up like big time. Struggle is real. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> All right, just to give you guys an idea, I mean, this is a little ridiculous because this is right after I did someone's makeup this morning. I didn't clean up because I knew I was going to be doing this today, but there's way too much shit up here. Oh my God, there's so much. So I really want to get this organized and looking cute so it's cuter in the back of my videos too. So the only thing I really ended up finding while I was out shopping was Bed Bath & Beyond. They had these four drawer organizers. Um, they were 15 bucks. So I got two of them and I'm thinking I could probably stack them since I want something taller but they don't sell those in stores really. Um, I had a 20% off coupon from Bath or from Bed Bath & Beyond and so I got both of these together for like 28 bucks and then Ebates also has in-store cash back now. So if you have not done that yet, I will link down below on YouTube. I always have it linked down there, how to get cash back. Hi Gaia. How to get cash back on Ebates using debit cards in-store. They do in-store cash back now. So I think I got 2% cash back off these two, which won't be a ton, but it'll be a little bit. So it adds up. But um, like I said, if you guys haven't signed up for Ebates, it is awesome for online shopping and now in-store too because you get cash back every couple months they send you a check. Like my last check I just got the other day was for $75. So it's totally worth it to check it out. You guys, check out this Lash Graveyard. Like literally never gonna wear any of these. I don't even know why I still have them right now. <laughs> But it, oh, it just looks like a huge pile of centipedes. Oh my god. So even though I still have all of this to do, I'm way more focused on this corner, which is probably not a good idea. But I want this corner to be really pretty because this is the background of my videos. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do where. But I love those flowers. I love them so much. They look so pretty so far. So progress on that side. Not so much on that side. So starting to make some progress in the drawers. There's just so much to organize. Oh my gosh. And I'm not going to line all of them because I don't have that much. And that's going to take way too much time. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
This is definitely going to be more than a one day process. Um, I thought I was gonna get a lot more done today and I did not. And I have some stuff to do, so to be continued. I'm not sure, maybe I'll work on it again tomorrow or tonight, but we'll see. So I said I was gonna stop working on this a long time ago. I ended up having dinner at my mom's and then I came home and started again but I wanted to at least show you guys the progress I made because it's definitely coming along more so than earlier now so I love this corner so far this is kind of what will be in the background of my YouTube videos now and I wanted it to be really cute and clean like this so I'm excited I don't know I might add up some little stuff still but um, I really started organizing my brushes nicer so those are all together um, now I'm just kind of like sorting things, but this is all still waiting for me. Ah, it's gonna take forever. Good morning. We're gonna start out with a little bit of breakfast. I have to answer a few emails and then I'm gonna try to work in here for another hour before work today. For those of you that didn't know, I do work at a counter part-time, so today is one of those days that I work, so I'm gonna try to get at least an hour done in here today because we've already made some progress. All right guys, so here's a quick little overview of my beauty room. When you first walk in, I have this little seating area. I have that Time Los Angeles pillow that I absolutely love. You'll see in the background of my video, sometimes I move it around a lot. Just a couple things up on the wall. I wanted this room to be really pretty and pink and fun. So that is there. I do have some of my bridal trials um, come to this studio in my home to do their trials or if I have friends or family that I'm doing a quick job on them, this is where they come. So there's always seating here for everyone. Um, I keep my kits over here. Um, I'm not going to do an in-depth breakdown because there's way too much, but I always have my kit here pretty much stocked and ready to go just so it's easy to grab for jobs. There's a hair kit for if I'm doing any hair stuff. And then this little section over here is just kind of storage. I put all the Mac bags to make it look cute. A couple of my favorite books are over there. Um, lashes because who doesn't want the holiday lash book from Velour? That thing is beautiful. Um, but yeah, just some little odds and ends over here. And then on the top, I have just kind of a little display of stuff. Um, these are the awards that 24 Lux has won from the Knot and Wedding Wire. We won Wedding Wire again in 2016. Um, 2016 was the first year we were on the Knot, so we won that our first year listed on there too. So I need to order the set second plaque. And I don't know if I either want to hang these on the wall somewhere or if I want to leave them like this, but for now they're right there. Um, my brother made me this canvas print. It is actually my first business card. So I thought that was a really cool, thoughtful gift. So I have that up there as well, kind of like a little memory. Um, and then this frame collage, which of course is not filled yet. I have a ton of photos now, but honestly, like who prints out pictures anymore? That's like so old school. So I need to get on that and fill up that frame as well. Just to add, these shelves were from the Christmas tree shops. I don't know if they have those in every state. We have them here in Michigan. Um, it's kind of like a home goods type place with some cheap like home stuff. So that's actually two of them I put together. Um, these chairs were from home goods, so is that table. Anything during this video that I can list where it's from, I will put in the description bar down on YouTube. Um, because a lot of the stuff is like Ikea, a lot of it's stuff that you guys could totally go and find. So anything that is possible to list where I got it, I will have it listed down in the description bar on YouTube. So make sure you go and check there. Um, this is my little stand that I use to film all of my videos. I'm currently looking into which light ring I want to get and invest on just to step up my game a little bit. But currently, this is what I use. Nothing fancy. I literally record right on there with my computer. So that is usually sitting there. Um, I also have that there when I have clients over playing music or whatever because I listen to music 24-7. So Pandora is always going on there. This is a mannequin stand. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. Those are aprons I've had made for uh, when we work weddings, just a couple decorative things. This beautiful necklace is from Marina Collections. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them on Instagram. I will link down below. I do have a discount code for their stuff, but all their items are handmade and so, so gorgeous. They're beautiful statement pieces. But here is the big money shot where all the goodies are that I will be showing you guys. I absolutely love my setup. I bought all of this from Ikea, all of the drawers, the tabletops. 
Um, these are the Alex drawers. I have two of the tall and then two of the short that I used as a uh, vanity to hold up the desktop. I will list the size and styles of all of the drawers as well as the tabletop that are all at Ikea. So you guys can totally go there and order those. These drawers, I know everyone on YouTube has them, but they seriously are amazing for makeup storage. There's so much room. You can put so much in there and it is such a lifesaver for decluttering and keeping things looking clean and organized. First, just kind of hidden over here, I have some like supply stuff, extra airbrush uh, foundation cleaner, a couple other random little things. Um, so I'm just going to go through these drawers one by one so you guys can see what is inside of them. I have this tower, which is hair accessories, hair ties, bobby pins, all that stuff. These are all eyeliners. This is actually just like a candle holder from Home Goods or something. All my eyeliners are in here. I've got extra eye brushes here. I've got lip liners in the back. I've got um, some LA Girl glosses, and then I have all my blending sponges. I have Tarte, I have Beauty Blender, I have whatever the Wonder Brow brand is. I've got a ton of sponges in there, some Real Techniques, just everything's thrown in there. So, starting up here, this drawer is all blushes, bronzers, tints, things like that. So, as you can see, a ton of benefit. I do work as an arch expert, so I've got a ton of benefit in here. Um, we get a lot of gratis. They're a great company to work with. Um, I have a lot of NYX. I have got all this fun stuff. So that's one whole drawer. If you go down to the next one, this is more like skincare stuff. I love Benefit Skincare, so I have a lot of that. Um, just some samples, some things that have been sent to me. These peel pads from Exuvians are, oh my God, life-changing. They have seriously helped me get rid of so many of my early wrinkles that were starting. These things are amazing. They're a little strong, and I only do them once a week instead of twice, but these seriously skin-changing game. So if you are, I'm 27, if you're around my age, you will love this. Next, this drawer is a lot of primers, concealers, extra setting sprays. Um, I swear by this, they don't stray from Benefit. I absolutely love that. I also have a back stock of the Anastasia concealers all the time. Those are just a few of my favorites. This drawer, oh, heaven, heaven on earth. It's the highlight drawer. I've got my glow kits in here. I've got a couple more that aren't in this drawer. I've got all my loose ones, some Ofra, some loose uh, face powders, high beam. Oh my gosh, just everything you could ever imagine in highlighter world is in this drawer. And I love it so much. This is probably my favorite drawer, which is crazy, but love it so much. This is all miscellaneous eye things. I've got some ColourPop shadows, mascaras, um, brow products, glitters, liners, anything you could imagine for eyes is in this drawer. And these are all removers. These are my favorite wipes. I order them in bulk through Amazon. Um, I will link them down below. They are absolutely awesome. They're cucumber. They're gentle on the skin. I love them. And then some other ones too. This is one of my many lip drawers. As you can see, this one is mainly dominated by NYX. Um, there is a lot of it in here. I've got a couple other crayons, glosses, some tart in the back, just a whole bunch of lip goodness in this drawer. Here is like an overflow lip drawer. Um, this one is not full yet. I have all my extra organizers in here too, just that I haven't filled. Um, but there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of different glosses and products in here. And then this is my Halloween makeup drawer, all kinds of fun face painting, fun lashes, all kinds of things like that. Okay, going into the next stack of drawers. This is kind of like my everyday drawer, so it has a lot of random stuff in it that I grab on a daily basis. A lot of little scissors, tweezers, tool supplies, Q-tips, um, the Sun Dip Glow Kit, one of my MAC palettes, my Modern Renaissance palette, lots of Fix Plus because I love Fix Plus. Um, Anastasia concealers, just yeah, a lot of different things. Some goddess lashes from Coco were in here, clearly not anymore. Um, if you move on down, I have another lip drawer. A lot of my liquid lipsticks are in here ColourPop, Anastasia, BH Cosmetics, uh, Lipland, Kylie, all that fun stuff. I have some Tarte lip paints, I have a bunch of my MAC lipsticks, Lime Crime. Uh, Lorac, Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. I've got a ton in here, so that's a whole nother one. Then if we move down, this is my foundation drawer right now. These are all of my like most commonly used ones, some drugstore ones that I actually kind of like, um, just some extra stuff in the back. But yeah, lots of foundation. Um, this is my last drawer, so it's a little low stock right now. I'm not gonna lie, I need to replenish a little bit, but um, 
Eyelure 126 is one of my favorites. 113s are like my dailies from Ardell. I wear those almost every day, just my kind of first ones to grab. Um, the Vegas Nay, I've got the MAC 35s, which are another favorite of mine. The Coco Goddess Lashes, just a ton of lashes in here. Um, Dodo Lashes, which are not in the package anymore. Those are amazing $5 mink lashes if you guys haven't tried them. I have a video on them, but I also have a discount code down. It'll be in the description bar, but those are amazing. I have a discount code. They're only 5 bucks, and they are awesome mink lashes. The Lonesome Bottom Drawer is just some extra palettes that I don't really reach for on a daily basis, but they're still good ones, so I keep them down here just so I have them available. Over to the other side. This is less makeup on this side. Um, these are just kind of little random doodads, things I have, um, hair cutting shears if I need to cut new hair, um, a little speaker for music, just yes, a few random things in there. In this drawer, I have pretty much every sample I've ever gotten in my life. Um, yeah, lots of samples in here, so if I ever want to try something new, a new mask, new skincare, I'll just check in here and see what I have sitting around. A lot of those are from Sephora. They're good about giving samples when you order. Um, this drawer is just some bags in the back and then extra uh, mascara ones for clients. Some of my most commonly used lipsticks on clients in case they want one to keep for weddings. And then also track glue, which is what I use for lashes. Um, it's amazing. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you it's safe, but I'm telling you it's amazing. Um, this is a brush that I haven't checked out yet that was sent to me. Some fragrances. I get a lot of little packages sent to me that I kind of just throw in a drawer until I have a chance to go through them. Um, these are old and extra um, airbrush supplies, cleansers, guns, bags, so that all stays in there. This whole tall tower is basically hair stuff, pretty much. Um, lots of hair products that have been sent to me to try or use in videos for you guys. Um, this is like a MAC empty drawer. You know, you can turn in empties at MAC to get free lipsticks, so I try to keep those together so I know where they are. Um, this is a body drawer, but right now there's not much in it. So, some self tanners, some perfume. This dresser's not completely full yet. Um, random skin things, uh, cocoa carbon, teeth whitening gel. Um, this is kind of like my hair stuff that I personally use. My brushes, my thickening products, my hairsprays. So, this is my drawer, so I don't really use that on other people. Um, that one's completely empty, so there's nothing in there yet. Um, I have a bunch of heat tools down here. Hot tools, Chi, Numi, the straightening brush. I haven't even tried that yet, but I see a lot of videos of it, so I'm kind of interested to see how it works. And then here's like my everyday heat styling tools down here. My Numi wand is one of my favorites. Just all kinds of stuff, chilling. On the top of that shelf, I just wanted to keep it nice and clean and simple. Um, both of these lamps are from Ikea. They are pretty inexpensive. I'll link those too. Um, the skull, I think, is from like Home Goods or something. Same with the plant, and that's just a Bath and Body Works candle. Let's see which scent we have. Raspberry Citrus Swirl. I am obsessed with candles, so they are everywhere in my place, including in here. So I want to take you guys through the tabletop next because I have a ton of stuff up here. This is more of my everyday things that I reach for. Um, this corner here, I wanted to kind of focus on being very clean, pretty, white, bright pink, because this is going to be the background for my YouTube videos from now on. I wanted something a little more aesthetically pleasing. Before, I just had a ton of products on here, and it just looked like an absolute mess to me. It didn't look cute. I saw so many other people's videos, and I was like, oh my god, their background is so cute. Like, I need to do that. So that was the main reason I kind of tackled this whole project, is because I wanted this little corner right here just to be in my YouTube videos. Talk about motivation, right? So up here I have a couple glass containers. I have put these like uh, broken glass pieces. You can buy them at Target. They're like fillers for vases. Uh, this one is all eye brushes and tweezers. These are more face brushes. Um, a lot of Sigma, a lot of crown brushes, a lot of BH Cosmetics brushes, some NARS brushes. Got a ton of different ones just kind of mixed in there. Some Tweezer Man. Um, these are extra face brushes back here, and then these are the My Makeup Brush set. They are dupes of the Artiste brushes. You've probably seen me use them in a few of my videos before. I do have a discount code for these, so the whole set is 10 pieces. It's under like 30 bucks. I absolutely love these, and I have fallen in love with these with certain foundations that are not my favorite with a beauty blender. These apply them beautifully, so make sure to check this out. I love that linked in the description bar too. So the acrylic organizers are actually not together. These came as separate pieces and I just stacked them to 
make a bigger thing because as you saw when I went shopping, it was hard to find tall ones in the stores. So these are just some everyday products. You'll see Benefit, Makeup Forever, Fiona Styles Foundation. I love, that's one of my daily favorites. Um, Wonder Brow, a ton of liquid lipsticks, MAC concealers. I've got my Gilded Honey gets its own drawer because it's just beautiful. I've got MAC pigments in here. This drawer is my Anastasia concealers, some Tweezerman products, and some lashes in this drawer here, which that is not full yet. There should probably be more things in here, but I'm not totally done with this whole display yet. I just have this magnifying mirror. I think I got this at Ulta around the holidays. They usually have them for like 15 bucks. Um, then this is the next acrylic organizer. You'll see a lot of favorites. Laura Mercier, Anastasia, Urban Decay, MAC, more liquid lipsticks. These are all things I kind of reach for on a daily basis in these two drawers. Um, some of my favorite liners and highbrow. MAC bronzer. Uh, some Too Faced liquid lipsticks. And then this one's mostly all Benefit and Anastasia brow products. This little display corner I just am in love with. I think it's so cute. I have my Benefit Ultra Radiance Mist because I just love using that. It's so luxurious and kind of like a little treat. So I think it just looks so nice and fancy on this pretty little tray. I think this was from Home Goods, so you probably wouldn't be able to find an exact one, but I absolutely love it. Um, this is the Tarte mug. It was a gift with purchase at Ulta. Um, I just thought it was cute, and I literally bought stuff just to get the mug because I thought it would look adorable. And then these are just dollar store flowers in a vase with some vase filling rocks from Target. So just a cute little clean display here, but I absolutely love how the vanity area turned out. I really wanted it to be clean and nice and neat, and I'm really pleased with how this all turned out. It looks amazing. Um, like I said, anything I can, I will link down below. These chairs are actually old salon chairs that I took when they were being thrown out. So those were free and I don't know where you can get them. So don't ask me about those. But everything else in this room that is able to be purchased, I will link down below where I got it for you guys so that you can check out stuff as well. I hope you guys get a little bit of info from this. Um, it probably will get changed over time. Um, I've thought about getting a different vanity mirror and stuff. This one was just from Home Goods. It's just a big mirror, but I kind of like it. Secretly kind of wish there was lights on the side of it. Maybe that'll be a DIY project, we'll see. But I love my beauty room right now. I love hanging out in here. It just is so pretty and clean and nice. And I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do in the backgrounds of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything else. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. But until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.